Hey guys, uh, Giga and Mansa here, and this is the Notorious AKS-74U. So this rifle was intended as a personal defense weapon for tank, helicopter and other vehicle crews, and of course special forces, which required a compact but also powerful automatic weapon. So to achieve that, the Russians took a standard AK-74, shortened the barrel, the gas tube and the gas piston. By doing that, they created two problems. Reliability issues and big muzzle overpressure. Because the AKS-74U has such a short barrel, the gas block is near the muzzle. This reduces the dwelling time of the gases. So what Russians did, they solved both of the problems with an ingenious solution. Putin, <coughs> I mean this thingy here, the, uh, the booster, the, bo the booster. This simple muzzle attachment has one internal chamber and a reduced exit here. What it does is builds up pressure, which helps cycle the gun. It also burns the excessive gases and reduces the muzzle signature. So now let's compare the muzzle blast, the cycling of the weapon and the felt recoil with and without the booster. So this thing shoots amazing. Um, I was surprised that it worked uh, without the booster, no problem. But uh, how was your experience, Manza? Yeah, shooting this rifle is an amazing experience, really. Um, it has almost no recoil, which is great. And even without the booster, it's practically the same. The biggest difference is the fireworks. Without the booster, it's, it's like Christmas. It's, it's like something exploded in your face, really. It, it's a great experience. Oh, and guys, it's not called the Krinkov. The only acceptable nickname for it is Suchka. It's... Wow, 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 wow,